This fat tire electric bicycle will change my beach vacations and surf fishing trips forever. This is the Hemiway Zebra, a premium all-terrain fat tire bike. I took this bike on a road trip with me from North Georgia to a remote peninsula off the Gulf Coast of Florida. The goal was to test the bike's resilience in sandy, salty conditions with a payload of gear to fish in complete isolation. I put the bike's performance up to test to see just how far it could take me off the grid. I'm going to show you what you want to know about the Hemiway Zebra, how I use it, how it performs, and how that now that I own one, there's never any going back. Some of you may know me for my boat related content, more specifically, small fishing boats powered by electric outboards. So naturally, when Hemiway Bikes messaged me on Instagram about trying out their fat tire e-bike, it was a no brainer. In this video, I'm gonna give you a real world breakdown of the Hemiway Zebra, coming from a guy who is not an electric bike connoisseur, nor have I ever owned one before. From a first time e-bike user's perspective, I'll cover some specs and details and give you my thoughts on how this bike performed out in the wild. Of course, if you're interested in what you see, I'll leave a link to the bike down in the video description. I had just the trip in mind to break in the electric bicycle and lucky for me, it wasn't long before the Hemiway Zebra fat tire e-bike arrived at my doorstep. The Zebra came packaged and protected well. Inside the box was everything I needed to assemble the bike, including front and rear fenders, the battery, and the battery charger. Hemiway even included tools to assemble the bike, as well as a container of spare nuts and bolts should you need them later down the road. I took my time and had the Zebra put together in under 45 minutes. I decided to get the step through frame and I chose the color white because how could I not match the truck? The Hemiway Zebra is a fat tire e-bike, which means it's riding on 26 inch by four inch Kenda fat tires. The bike features an integrated tail light, a 48 volt LED headlight, a 48 volt 20 amp hour lithium battery by Samsung or LG, and a total weight of just 79 pounds. This Hemiway bike, as well as the upcoming Zebra model, are UL certified, meaning that they meet the industry-wide safety standards. For performance, the bike has an LCD display, Shimano 7-speed gear shift system, hydraulic brakes, and a front fork suspension with lockout and adjustment. The motor is a 750-watt brushless gear motor. The range is 60 to 80 miles on a single charge, and the total payload capacity is 400 pounds, more than plenty for my remote beach excursion. Speaking of which, it was time to load the bike up and hit the road. I've seen and heard of guys using these electric bicycles for hunting. These bikes are incredibly quiet, which won't scare animals away like a four-wheeler or ATV. You can cover ground fast and more effectively than walking. You just unload the bike out of the back of your truck and ride it to the deer stand. So investing in an electric bike could make sense if you're a hunter. And that got me to thinking, how could I utilize an electric bike in what I do with fishing and electric boats? In this video, I'll focus on fishing and the bike's performance, but I have some tricks up my sleeve of how I can include the Hemiway Zebra within some of my future electric boat content. So stay tuned for that. When pondering of how I could utilize this fat tire bike, I immediately thought of all the places I could go that I couldn't or wouldn't go to on foot, specifically remote fishing locations. And boy, did I have the place, a place that I've been to many times in my life, but had only accessed up to a point. You see, this particular peninsula is a state park in Florida with one beach access point. And if you want to see the eight miles of untouched beach beyond this point, your only choice is to walk or pedal. Well, that is until I showed up with my Hemiway Zebra. I got down to the peninsula, which out of respect for the locals' privacy, I won't be naming. Once on the peninsula, I got to the very last public beach access point. From here, the game plan was to ride the bike along with all of my gear five miles down beach in the direction of the tip of the peninsula. I'd find a nice spot to set up my beach tent and enjoy the day in complete isolation fishing. Now, up until this point, I had only ridden the e-bike around my property and down the road from my house. I was impressed with the Zebra's handling, its battery range performance, and ease of operation. I'd even gotten it up to 25 miles per hour plus going downhill, although it averages about 22 miles per hour on the flat open road. Because of this, I was confident enough to make the eight hour drive to film what you'll see in this video. I wanted to see what the bike was capable of. How would it handle in the thick sand on the Bayside trails or at the beach? 
What kind of speeds would I get and how far could I go with a payload of gear down the beach? Would the concept even work? These are questions that I was seeking answers for. Like I've said before, you got to risk it for the biscuit. So I loaded up the zebra rear fender with a cooler full of food, drinks, and ice topped with a Niso beach tent, a beach chair, two fishing pole holders, two fishing poles, and one sand flea trap to catch some live bait. I also wore a backpack full of camera gear, my drone, and fishing tackle. All the necessities to make it through an off-the-grid, one-day beach fishing journey. We'll start with the bike's performance on the beach. I had no problem going up the beach access ramp and was able to power through the thick beach sand to get me to the shoreline. I will say in the thicker sand, there isn't much speed and balance is sketchy. I wouldn't try to go very far in this thick, dry beach sand, especially with added weight. But where the Hemiway Zebra really shined was on the beach shoreline. The sand here was more solid because of the tide. It wasn't completely flat, but the speed and stability here, even with the added weight of my gear, was incredible. I ran about 5 miles down beach full throttle, averaging anywhere from 15 to 19 miles per hour. I thought that was pretty impressive. In under 30 minutes, I made it five to six miles, which is insanely far from my nearest beachside neighbor thanks to the Hemiway Zebra. Once down beach, I picked my spot and set up camp for the day. I threw out a line and got an uninterrupted one-on-one -on -one exclusive experience with Mother Nature like no other. After a day on the beach, it was time for me to say goodbye, load my gear, and get back to the truck. But before loading the bike back up, I was able to run it through the beach access area's freshwater shower station. I rinsed away all the salt and sand, and then I loaded the Zebra safe and sound in the bed of my truck. One thing I really love about this bike is how easy it is for me to take the front wheel off and quickly load and strap it down securely in the camper shell on the back of my truck. This bike was made for trips like this. I wasn't done with my trip just yet. I had another spot I wanted to test the zebra at. This would be on the bay side of the island. Here is an area that you could park and some trails that you can hike. And while there is a road, it has a locked gate because it's for government vehicles only. There's miles of soft sand trails with overgrown brush. Not something I would want to walk that distance, especially in almost 100 degree heat with a bunch of fishing gear. And not something I'd use a traditional pedal bike on given the softness of the sand. I was curious to see how the Hemiway would perform. I purposely rode the center of the trail where the sand was thicker to see what the zebra could do. Again, it powered through. I wasn't going near as fast as at the beach, and every once in a while I would get a bit squirrely, but the fat tire e-bike did its job. Once again, I was away from everyone, miles down a trail at a secluded fishing spot. Just me, my bike, my gear, the water, and the potential fish that I could catch. Oh, and a gator in salt water, because apparently that's a thing in Florida. That was my sign to leave, but not before I could catch this beautiful speckled sea trout. Now that I've owned this Hemiway Zebra for over three months and ridden it over 200 miles, what are my final thoughts? I sympathize with people who say that $2,000 is just too much money to spend on an electric bicycle because I was one of those guys, but you don't know until you know. As you've seen in this video, I've been able to go to a place that I couldn't get with an Airbnb, a travel agent. I couldn't get there by plane, train, maybe by boat, but only possible by the Hemiway Zebra. So to me, this bike is something that I will never go without and I can't recommend more. 
And Hemiway is releasing a brand new updated Zebra model with some updated colors. And I'm really excited about seeing what they've done to take this bike design even further. And I've got more planned on how I'm going to utilize this bike and my content on Instagram and YouTube and how I want to mesh this with some electric boat stuff. So stay tuned for that because I'm excited about where this can blend in with what I'm already doing here on this channel. And who knows, maybe I could get my hands on one of the updated Hemiway models when they come out and I could try that as well for you guys and give you my thoughts. If you are interested in Hemiway bikes, the links are down in the video description as always. And I have some good news for you guys. I have a code with Hemiway, it's AJ50. It'll get you $50 off your purchase of a Hemiway electric bicycle. And big shout out, big thank you to Hemiway Bikes for getting this bike in my hands and allowing me this opportunity to do more things on it than I never knew I could do. From getting the trash can for my long driveway and dragging it back to the house on this bike to going on runs or walks with my wide open, high energy German short hair pointer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some useful information out of it. And perhaps it inspired you to go on your own remote beach fishing trip. Let me know down in the comments, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.